<coughs> oh, that cold weather is getting to me. Hello, everybody. Let me turn this little fan off. Ryan here. For Silly Reviews today, we've got something pretty cool uh, from the RubberStampChamp.com website. They make custom rubber stamps and some other stuff. Uh, I've only used them for stamps, and I've used them for custom mailing stamps for uh, businesses I've worked at and also uh, some of my clients that I do marketing for, bookkeeping, things like that. So I have a fresh stamp that came in for somebody, a buddy of mine that owns a car dealership. Um, who I help out from time to time with marketing and bookkeeping and even sales sometimes. But anyway, so I made him a custom stamp, okay? Take him to the next level. So hopefully that turns out well. But here's something interesting I'm going to start doing. Um, over the years, I have always made it a point to reply to each and every comment personally too. I don't just copy and paste. Um, sometimes there's a copy and paste at the end of the custom reply that asks people to like subscribe share blah blah but in the beginning I always make it a personal reply it's getting harder and harder to do what I, which I guess is a blessing and a curse but I know you guys don't see all the interesting comments that I get but uh, I'd like to share some of them with you because there has been a weird stretch of negativity in the comments towards me uh, personal attacks that really have I don't know, just have Ryan feeling bad. So anyway, here's some nice things people said. And the last one I'm going to give you, I'm going to tell you which video it is because the theme of silly reviews where the tagline is my reviews get bad reviews still flies over so many people's heads. So the last one I'm going to give you, I'm going to tell, me, tell you which video it is. Go ahead to the video, find the comment, and go ahead and maybe leave her a reply to help her understand what this channel is about. So anyway, this week, James Kirk said uh, that I'm an idiot on one of my back shaver product reviews. He said I'm an idiot because I was making a joke about using a back shaver for one hair. Excuse me. He told me that I'm an idiot because you have many back hairs. No shit. Uh, Marilyn Pacheco, she, she just said one of my videos was lousy. She said it's a lousy video. Uh, Ava Tubbs used emojis to say that I am so gross. She used a whole bunch of the puke emojis. That was really nice. Okay, so the last one was the big one. I want you guys, after this, if you could, after you watch this review, look in my videos for perfect cooker review. Then look up a recent comment from a lady named Nikki Odom. Some tidbits from her comment. First of all, she starts it off by advising people, don't waste your time. Okay, she didn't want people wasting their time watching my perfect cooker review. Uh, then she called me annoying. She said I lack basic cooking knowledge. Then she seemed to be upset because I used the word shit a few times in the video. And she says that it was ironic that he says shit so much. Because that is what the video is worth. So after you watch this review on these this rubber customized rubber stamp from Rubber Stamp Champ, um, go ahead and look up my perfect cooker review. Look for Nikki Odom. Okay, Nikki Odom. And maybe let her know what this site is about. So here we go. Custom rubber stamp. Rubber stamp from RubberStampChamp.com. I have used them for so long. At least since like 2009, I want to say. So anyway, hopefully my buddy will be pleased with the design I came up for him for his stamp. Really good prices on this site. Uh, they always have these 50% offs and slashes and markdowns and stuff like that. Uh, I don't know if, if that's just like for fun. You know, that kind of marketing like pizza is never really full price. But uh, the prices are really good. This is an ideal 4914 self inking stamp okay and uh, I got this customized use the little coupon code shipped it came out to $13.59 that's pretty damn cool and I would have picked him up um, a little bit of ink to re-ink this with but I have several of those I might break him off with one he's a good guy so anyway this is the ideal 4914 very exciting 
It's got a preview window on the top of it. So if you have a bunch of stamps, it shows you what stamp it is. Okay. So this could be a review of my use, my selection of fonts and uh, creating cu a custom stamp. And also I had to vectorize his logo to make this work. He didn't have any good image files of his logo. So boo bam, that's what it should look like. Okay. I think I did it right. I think I gave it just enough margin to be properly printed on the stamp. I don't know what kind of uh, what kind of quality control they have there on the uh, the custom stamp assembly line, but I think I gave it enough space. The font is juicy and big for his address logo right there on the top. Boop bop. So this is the kind of stamp itself inking inside of here. Um, it's not a reservoir of ink. It's a it's a a wet pad, I guess you could call it. And the mechanism here, when pressure is applied and this goes in, the stamp removes itself from the pad, flips over, and it's ready for you to stamp down. Then once this comes back out, you're going to uh, see this thing flip back over and touch itself to the, the wet pad that's in there, okay? And uh, if this, this, I cut my hand the other day and it's healing up, it's last little bit of scab left. This looks like a wart. Uh, I promise you I do not have any warts. Correction, I do not have warts on my hands, okay? Just a little scab. So here we go, let's stamp it. Here's an envelope, boot bop. And I'm not gonna judge the first stamp because maybe it's not fully inked up and ready to roll, but we'll, we'll definitely judge the second one. So let me just give it a pre-stamp on the back. Okay, Let's give it a couple because I see it is not quite all there. All right, now we're gonna give it the real stamp. It should be fully inked up, right? Let's see. I'm gonna try to apply um, even pressure here. Mm, the left didn't come out completely again it could have been user error or it just needs a few rounds a few pumps a few a few presses on the top <coughs> boop bop and uh then it'll really get it evened out but i tell you what man it looks great the lines on his logo are extremely thin on this stamp and you can see that the lines they're there these little lines here for the bumper a little swirly do's so i tell you what this has got to be maybe the 10th no probably more like 20 like the 20th over the years uh custom rubber self inking stamp that i've ordered from rubber stamp champ and i've got to give it the top the double thumbs up because it's been a quality product every time i've never had to return them so anywho my name is ryan for silly reviews now don't forget to go tell our friend hi what was her name again nikki Go to my perfect cooker review. Find Nikki Odom. Give her a reply. Try to help her understand what this channel is like because maybe she just doesn't get it. And uh, she's missing out on 600 plus entertaining videos on my channel. Okay, don't be mean to her. Just trying to help her out, become a subscriber. I highly doubt she's subscribed. So, anywho, Ryan, rubber stamp champ, ideal 4914, silly reviews. Thank you for watching.